Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brewery Reviews. I'm Spot. Special K. And I'm Squash. And tonight we're doing Guava Rodeo. It's by Oscar Blues Brewing. It's been a while since we've done an Oscar Blues beer. I don't think you have I've had never one. had one. I've never heard of one. Um, I think they're based in one of the Carolinas. This is Colorado. Yeah, North Carolina. Okay. Texas and Longmont, Colorado. Um, I think they're originally from North Carolina, though. Gotcha. So this is uh, a sour ale with guava and tangerine. 6%, which is pretty good. Uh, it sounds really, really good. Uh, it sounds like something I would try. Canned about two months ago, so still relatively fresh. Good. All right. That's about the color I expect yeah. it to be. The looks like nice, a lot nicer than the last two things we've had. Uh, Oscar Blues, um, just a heads up, they normally do very strong flavored beers. Awesome. So they're not very watered down, so I expect... A lot of flavor. This to be pretty good. And they say guava and tangerine. I expect to get guava it. and tangerine in there. Yeah. So You expect it to be quite pronounced. <laughs> mm. It smells like hair dye a little bit. Like Yeah, it's ooh. got a funky smell. But that's sort of normal. I mean, it's kind of like the normal that's like, definitely, sour. That's yeah. just a you normally don't get a yeah. lot of a sour. Uh, decent carbonation. But that's kind of cloudy. Yeah, that's normal from a sour. Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy. Carbonation, yeah, it's medium. Uh, it's a normal lager color. Yeah. All right. Hot damn, that is sour. Ooh. Dude, that's a warhead level. That's actually sour for me, and I like sour. <laughs> that's wow. probably killing you. <laughs> that is next level, man. That's, that's, I haven't had a beer that sour. That's I know. That's, that's, probably, sour, that's sour. probably almost as sour. What was the, it was the probably one that you had there? As the, sour as some of the, the Funkadelic yeah, place. Yeah, a Funkatorium. That's up there. Damn. I get tangerine in there. I'm not picking up any guava. Oh, no, not the guava. No guava. I got tangerine. Uh, tangerine yeah. is insanely powerful and tart. <laughs> um, it's so sour. sour. They put warheads in this. They had to have. This is sour. I like warheads. So <laughs> it finishes up, I like uh, this. <laughs> it finishes up like a beer, so it's like yeah. a little malty on the back on the, end. On the, but it's back still the nice. Buttery. It's still very drinkable. I like it. You you couldn't have more than a couple of these, though, because no, it would get to your stomach real no, quick. I would love to bring this out be like, do you like sour stuff? <laughs> do you want a beer? Dude, I, I like this. Bro, that's like clearing my sinuses. It's so sour. <laughs> and making your mouth water, for sure. Ugh. I like it a lot. Um, ooh, it doesn't have any of the sour funk in it. It's just No, it's not funky at all. It's a refreshing yeah. sour. It's very weird. Uh, and the mouth feels actually kind of heavy on it. It's like light to medium. Well, it's yeah. like... More than like some sours that will like thicken up your mouth a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this is not happening with No, this it's, it's actually pretty clean. But, which, which is really weird for how sour it is. It's oh, probably it's so, so sour, sour that it's bringing so much spit up, you can't get thick. Yeah. <laughs> can't light, dry yeah. your mouth. Light to medium mouthfeel, which is interesting on it. Uh, but it's 6% beer. I like this beer a lot more than I thought I would. I, I wish there was more guava flavor in there. Yeah. Um, like but lot. the malty butteriness on the back end is nice. Um, obviously, there's not really any hop presence. It's sour. You don't see hop sours very often. No. But it's really good. I like this a lot, actually. Whew. I wish that we could find it around here. I got that around here. That one came in total one. Really? Oh, okay. About a month ago, I'd yeah, say. Singles. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. That's pretty good. Yep. I like it. Oh, I the like best thing about that. I game. like it a lot. Um, time for a rating. I'm going to go... I can't remember the price on it. I want to say it was like two thirty nine a single. So that'll probably put it like 14 13 14 yeah, it's for pretty, a it's pretty high for a six but um but six percent and eh, it's, yeah. it's about normal uh i'm gonna go with a i'm gonna go with an eight really okay and that's taking off a half a point for price and availability a total of a yeah. half not a, two halves but. uh i'm willing to go ahead and let it keep that half point i'm gonna give it an eight and a half even with it it's a little bit expensive Whew. i wish it was easier to find because i like i said i've never seen this i've never seen this brand or uh but i, I like it a lot i've Probably one of the most sour beers I've ever had. You ever heard of a beer called Ten Fitty? They have a beer called Ten Fitty. It looks like motor oil. I've heard you talk about it a lot. Yeah, it's a big boy. <laughs> I have to give it a seven because it is drinkable for me, but like it is very sour. This is like you wouldn't have this just because you wanted a drink to get drunk. Like this is okay. The more beer. I drink it, the more sour it's getting. <laughs> like I've had almost two of these now, and it's it's getting like like sour Skittles level sour. I think if I was sitting on, uh, I would enjoy this if I was sitting on a deck in the summertime, like it was warm. Yeah. 
I wouldn't have more than one at a time, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They, one of, you, you have one of these, and then you switch to, like, something a little bit lighter. Something, yeah, well, this something is, yeah, crisp. One or two of these, yeah, you would be, it would be hurting. Yeah. You'd be salivating so much. Dude. Happening. Yeah. Freaking spit left in your mouth. I like it a lot, though. Uh, would you guys recommend it? Yeah, I definitely. definitely. For sure, if you like sours. Yeah. Now, this again, this is not a beginner sour. I mean, this is, if you enjoy eating warheads... Yeah, that's um, where you would go. I like no. eating warheads. I like I like. Sour I would say Skittles. it's not quite warheads level, but it's. I would say it's. It's, in, it's right under there. I would say it's in between Sour Patch Kids and Warheads. That would be. The it's like a, the sour level. Have you ever had the Warhead spray? Yeah, it's like that. That's what it oh, reminds God's me awful, of. Awful, but yes, this is better than that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I got you with it the other yeah, day. You brat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. You can check us out on Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Special K. I'm Squash. And I'm Spot. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.